My time in Bella Riva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story whose ending I hadn't felt ready to write. The people I'd met, the items I'd restored, they'd taught me so much about what was really important. Pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed, I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop, the day I left. Afterwards, I was too ashamed to call them, to apologize. It was a guilt I'd been carrying around every day since. As I packed, I knew that it was up to me to find a way to lighten the load. Izzy gave me this in exchange for my repair manual. She'll be a pro in no time. My parents would love Bellariva. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. Joseph's idea of light reading for the train. It does look thorough. The soundtrack to my travels. I'll be listening to this on the journey. The recipe for Carmen's special. I'm under strict instructions to guard it with my life. My train ticket. Can't believe it's time to leave Bellariva behind. My suitcase was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bellariva behind, but I hoped that, in my own small way, I'd made a difference. Helena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to overcome their differences. Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relationship with Izzy. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. Maybe it was time I saw things through my parents' eyes. I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between us, but I finally felt ready to talk to them. I just didn't know if they would feel the same. Did I even remember their number? I wasn't sure until I reached for the phone and it all came flooding back. Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you? 